Привет, товарищи, and welcome back to another session of our Phantom Doctrine KGB Let's Play. Last session was a pretty solid session, very satisfied with how that all went down. Uh, and I'm excited to try and recreate some of that glory. We have two missions on hand right now that I'd like to try and tackle. Uh, maybe we can get both of them done this session. Maybe we can only get one done this session. But basically, we found a beholder cell thanks to some of the interrogations we performed during the last session. And that's located over here at Leningrad. And we could roll in with uh, Tactical Recon and then come in with an Assault Mission as well. They're currently affecting our income by negative 10. And I don't know if I want anybody siphoning my cash off of me so uh, we might want to go and deal with that before we dive down here to Odessa and uh, and shut down this special mission over here uh, again it's meet with Patriot to learn if he can help stop the hijack of K429 I'm not 100% sure if uh, that's gonna trigger a whole mission I know I can only send one person right now but what I'm going to do before I deal with all of this is uh, get some of our training done over at the crew quarters now if you guys remember we got a couple of level ups last session there are a couple of trainings available but I don't know if I'm if I really feel like spending all that time right now because it does cost over a day a day and 12 hours so one and a half days to get any training completed and I don't know if I have that kind of you know time right now given the story situation I don't know if we ever get that kind of time in in universe or in game i should say uh so i'm gonna leave it for now but maybe if uh, if i don't get the opportunity to trigger some this session i'll i'll get these guys training at the beginning of next session we should also consider increasing the size of our crew quarters because we can only hire one more person and it is tempting to get somebody joining in over here uh we could get stuntman uh we could get well you know we could get any one of these really i'd probably stick with somebody who's level three right now vampire looks very uh interesting that's a very interesting looking portrait anyway <laughs> enough distractions let's look into our crew quarters over here and get some perks going so indigo i spent some time thinking about it and i am in fact going to go with survivor in the uh situations where she goes in in disguise she's not my ideal person in disguise of course theremin is because he's got actor as well but since we don't have Unfortunately, we don't have the opportunity to give him the survivor trait and, and or perk and give him more health. Uh, at least Indigo can get it, so when she can go in in disguise, we can get that increase in maximum hit points and she'll be able to take down more individuals. So we'll accept that for the perk. And we also have another perk available for Merlin, and Merlin is going to get... I'm tempted to give her survivor as well, to be perfectly honest. Higher max hit points across the board is not a bad idea because it allows us to take down more agents and be more quiet now peripheral vision is the other thing i'm tempted by because what marlin can actually do is equip herself with the uh, lmg 26 because she's proficient with it and to be perfectly honest it'd be pretty cool if she could go in with that lmg and uh, perform overwatch with you know the extra benefits of having that bigger cone however i like to play quiet I like to go in sneaky, I like to leave sneaky, so we're going to go in with Survivor and hope that she's able to also perform more knockouts than, uh, than even need to, to, to use Overwatch. So Survivor it is for her as well, uh, maybe I'm over, maybe I'm going too heavy on that Survivor perk, but it is what it is. And Kodiak is traveling right now, Indigo and Kodiak both have some trainings available, but like I said, I'm going to hold off on that, and instead, we're going to go into the map over here and... As soon as this plane lands, I'd like to send two over to Vienna to uh, scout this area out, and I'd like to send some people over to Leningrad as well. I could send Indigo and Marlin right now. They are available at Vladivostok, so no reason not to do that. Going for that tactical recon. It'll take 10 hours, and this basic firearms drill for Theremin will only take 9 hours, so he will be available for our next mission, which might be that one where we'll send him in in disguise. He'll have that actor perk, and that should all work out hypothetically. Theoretically, it should all work out. So let's get time rolling over here. This plane's going to land, and as soon as it does, I'd like to send these two in Vorkuta, that's Kodiak and Falcon, over to this suspicious activity in Vienna, which will actually be gone in an hour, so we're not even going to reach it, unfortunately. I could send Kodiak on this special mission over here, get that main story progressing at the same time as well. Uh, I don't know if I want to send him alone, so here's what we're going to do. Let's send at least a couple of agents here. Surely I have some agents available. Oh, Theremin's training, walkers hospitalized. Hospitalized? Hospitalized? That word always throws me off. Uh, it's because I'm Soviet. English is not first language, of course. Um, and referee, of course, is forging cash for us. So I guess we can only send Kodiak and Falcon. 
So Kodiak's going to kick the job off, and we're going to send Falcon just so he's not going on his own. Unfortunately, we won't be able to shut down the suspicious activity in Vienna. Hopefully, it's nothing too terrifying. Hopefully. Oh, we got some more suspicious activity coming up. Um, all right. We can't send anybody here yet. Man, I feel like I need to, like, hire a new agent. Two hours. Well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. That's how long it's been going on for. Foolish me. Foolish me. We can send Falcon over here. It's risky. She could get ambushed, but she's the only one available nearby. Oh, dear. Here we go. What's this? Crew quarters. Training complete for Theremin. Basic firearms drill. Maybe not the best thing to give him, but uh, we're going to pause and we're going to go back to that facility as well. Just because, again, we want him to be sneaking around, but at least now he can roll around with the gal as well. So he's got the gal and he's got the VZ-61 going in with... Uh, <laughs> two submachine guns, one in each hand, I guess, uh, and the actor trait. At least he can use submachine guns when he's in disguise. It's that bulletproof vest that maybe we should actually get off of him and assign it to somebody else. For example, Marlin, let's give you the bulletproof vest just for that extra damage threshold. And again, just assigning this equipment now because as I've come to learn, if I get ambushed or something silly like that, then I won't be able to do it after the fact. And Walker's not available for another 10 hours. Buddy, come on, man. Come on. Uh, referee, you're fine. Indigo, let's give you some equipment just in case. And since we do have some extra left over, we might as well give it to Theremin. Might as well, right? Worst case scenario preparations. So we're going to arrive over here shortly in Vienna. Nothing happening over here. There will be a secret revealed. We can move Theremin and Falcon... Well, let's move Theremin over to, uh, to Novis... Oh, man. Novis Birsk. I've been trying to watch the uh, YouTube video that tells me how to pronounce these city names. Uh, it, it's not easy. It's not easy. Oh, we should have canceled that. Well, too late now. Should have sent... Uh... Стоять. Мне лучше не знать, как вы выглядите. Товарищ коррумпированный элемент намерен похитить подводную лодку К-429. Я знаю. Сердце Родины точит рак. Военные, политбюро, все они предатели, которые сдались гнилому Западу. Ведь вам еще возможно отменить приказы для К-429. Если я это сделаю, меня убьют... А ее отправят в море. Нет, эту лодку необходимо затопить. Нужно найти какой-то другой выход. Когда судьба Отечества висит на волоске, надо принести себя в жертву. В другом случае твое дело уже проиграно. Я не проигрываю. Тогда искорените болезнь. Немедленно переношу вас и ваших людей в мою новую, совершенно секретную боевую единицу по имени Кабала. Вы будете командовать без контроля и поддержки государства. Понятно? Это большая честь, товарищ секретарь. Ладно. А теперь затопить эту лодку. There it is. Now we're the Cabal, and that's a pretty good setup for it as well. I was wondering when that switchover happens. Alright, that's pretty cool. So you met Patriot and were promoted to the leader of your own independent above top secret espionage unit. Oh, got some XP, so I'll have that training available. Let's pause time real quick and see if we can't send anybody out. It'll take so much time for us to move up from where we are right now and ooh. Hijack plot. Snowcat will attempt to hijack the K-429 submarine. We must stop him. How much time do we have available for that? Is that a special mission so it can take forever? Well, we're going to send Kodiak and Falcon at the same time to begin that job. Do the tactical recon at least so we'll have disguises available. We have so many flight plans going in all directions. And how long will it take for Walker uh, to be ready to walk out? So, oh, still 10 hours. Still 10 hours. Interrupt conspiracy plots to slow progress. Oh, so I have to slow down the hijacking of K-429. Assault the docks in Petropavlovsk to sabotage the K-429. Okay, so I can slow progress and... Okay, I see. So basically, I can in interrupt plots to slow progress to buy myself more time so I'm better prepared, if I understand correctly, or I can dive in right now. 
Um, well, I am going in for that recon maybe a little too prematurely then, but we're about to arrive here. Uh, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have sent people over. All right, well, you live and you learn. You live and you learn. So, tactical recon will take nine hours. We've got Theremin rolling down to Novosibirsk down here. More suspicious activity. There's suspicious activity everywhere. Theremin, do we send you up to Leningrad? I feel like we'll need more people available for this assault mission. Hopefully I can't only send two people. Theremin will take six hours to get there. This recon mission will take how long to complete? Five hours. Alright, so we'll send Theremin over here first to Kiev, and then he'll move north to Leningrad from Kiev. And hopefully we don't fall apart. Walker, come on, man. You need to be up and running a lot quicker than this. You can't take this long to heal up. It might be time to hire some more uh, individuals. I don't like the buff, the increase, rather, not the buff, but the increase in... Uh, in heat it gives us. Alright, so tactical recon has been completed at Leningrad. We could go in for the assault right now. Um, let's pause it for now. I want I want Theremin to arrive. There we go. And then we'll move Theremin right up to Leningrad. Let's give it some time to make sure nothing gets popped up. Alright, cool. Let's send Theremin. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I can actually assault and anybody who's not in the air right now or otherwise preoccupied can be assigned to a mission but for at least agents on site for support maybe not so much but for agents on site i like the idea of actually having people um there is this going up or going down i can't tell just yet nonetheless we have arrived at leningrad with three of our agents do we want to assault with just three or do we want to try and send some more agents over here there's no one else we can send until we all land over here and it's going to take forever to arrive at Leningrad. Tactical recon is almost in progress and we can't actually leave there. And how long? How long until you're ready to roll? Walker, four hours. Referee, we can stop him forging at any time. Because I want to try and scout out some of these suspicious activities. Do want to scout those out. We've got this going on in Baku as well. Baku. Azerbaijan, right? I mean, USSR right now, but I'm trying to <laughs> trying to brush up my geography. All right, we're going to tactical recon as soon as Theremin arrives. I believe that's Theremin. In four hours, we should be able to start checking out Khabarovsk and Sakhalin. All right, let's assault Leningrad with just three agents. A bit of a risk being taken here, but uh, time is of the essence. Time is of the essence. We're, oh, I guess everybody can show up. Everyone can be there for the party. Should we do it like that? Some of these guys have distract available, which is good. Theremin, you're going to be in disguise, so you can sneak in. You've got the uh, actor perk as well. See, it's it's tempting to put Indigo in disguise instead. Even though Theremin has the actor perk, Indigo has higher hit points, which means that she'll be able to take more people out should somebody of a higher higher uh, uh, hit point come across her path. Uh, I think we're fine. Referee, are you really... Uh, I feel like the game allowing me to put this many people in means I need to put this many people in. And we're playing Iron Man. Let's not mess around here, right? Let's not mess around. Maybe we hire another agent as well just to fill up this slot. It's probably not a bad idea. Let's go into the crew quarters and hire... Who should we hire? Stuntman, freelance, got Warren Ally, MG51 proficiency, Brickhead, protects from stun effects. Alright stats, alright stats. And you, okay, Dweller is closer to leveling up another step. Lower stats in some regards. He's got uh, basic firearms drill proficiencies with LMG26, the GAL, the M10, the Model 870, so we could arm him. He's from the RAF, what does Buckshot do? I don't think I've seen Buckshot. Quick recovery as well. Vampire. Uh, don't. Not necessarily a fan of her stats right now. Magpie also not a fan of this. Lower level sermon. You're you're a lower level. So I think we go in with Dweller over here. Increases our our danger ever so slightly. Like I said earlier, I, I'm not a fan of that. But uh, I can deal. The damage threshold though. Dweller doesn't have any. He's got the better proficiencies. 
He's got he's got proficiencies that I can use while Stuntman here has exertion, which is helpful. It can be helpful. You know what? I'm a Soviet um, spy operation. I think I'd rather hire a freelancer who speaks Spanish than an RAF, <laughs> someone with the RAF background who speaks German. Questionable, Dweller, questionable. All right, fine. I don't know, this is probably not the wisest decision. It's probably not the min-max decision to make, but we'll get Stuntman in here. Spanish-speaking freelancer, Mark Martinez. Oh, this feels like a bad decision. But we've made it now. All right, in we go. Leningrad for the assault. Let's equip Stuntman properly. He looks like a Stuntman. All right, let's give you the Estrella. And unfortunately, there's... Well, we could put the Bone Crushers on here. I don't know if this is the ideal slot for it. Uh, I don't want to make him openly hostile. No equipment we can assign there either. Let's back out of this. Let's put Theremin in a disguise. He's got the actor trait, so Stuntman, Stuntman, Stuntman can get the flashbang that he's dropped off. Cool. All right, and then we should probably give him a sidearm as well. Just something. Maybe the uh, French. So the the DAO, thanks to the comments, I now know stands for double action only. So, thank you. Uh, I like it because uh, shot does not end turn, so let's have that, just in case we need to use that. And then referee you, the .38, let's give you the LMG-26 because you're proficient, and let's give you the Model 870, and hopefully you're not going to turn on us in the middle of this mission. Again, he hasn't been tested or anything, and he is hot, which is unfortunate. He is running hot, but it's okay. It's a risk we're going to have to take. We're going to keep him hidden. And you know what? Maybe Indigo. Hmm. Wondering if somebody else should go in with a shotgun instead. Give you your little snub 38 and give Indigo the Model 870. Ah, I like having the option of uh, a shot not ending the turn, though. I feel like almost everybody should have that. Marlin doesn't have that right now because he's got the LMG, or she's got the LMG and the uh, VZ-61. Bit of a risk being taken there. And Walker, let's give you a sidearm as well. Let's give you the French double action only. Is it said Dow? I haven't a clue. Walker, Walker, Walker. I mean, I almost feel like Walker shouldn't be on this mission. He's already hurt. He could be down really easily. Oh, man. Yeah, maybe... Let's remove Walker from the field, and let's put him on the sidelines here. Oops, I meant assign, thank you, as the tactical spotter. Because that'll give us vision, at the very least, it'll give us vision. I'm extremely nervous about this mission, I'm not going to lie. That looks like a Castro wannabe theremin in his disguise. Oh, hey. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can cycle through disguises. Sure, let's go with this. <laughs> Safety goggles and all. All right. Are we good? I think we're good. We've got some LMGs on the field. We've got some SMGs on the field. We've got someone in disguise. We've got flashbangs. We've got first aid kits. We've got frag grenades. Let's get down to business. Oh, man. Creeping Princess at Leningrad. We are attacking a major conspiracy hub. Expect fierce security measures and heavy resistance, including enemy agents. Oh, that's terrifying. That's a terrifying setup. Oh, that's a, that's a very terrifying setup. I might need to, like, get out of here. All right, so we've got some cameras. Three locations for cameras. It looks like we've got three areas we can arrive from. What do we... What, we're just trying to eliminate everybody here? Okay. I might as well pop in over here, I think. Uh, let's see, there's one camera spot over there. It's actually within view of this camera. There's some loot to be picked up over here. Camera, intel. Again, we'll have uh, we'll have Theremin arriving behind enemy lines, so at least he'll be able to sneak around and, and get some stuff done. There's another camera. Is there more intel? There's some more loot back here. Wow, there's a lot to get. There is a lot to get just on this first floor alone. Second floor. 
what have we got? More loot over here in that briefcase. Got more intel over here. All right, all right. More more intel? Is that is that even more intel, or did I already spot that intel? <laughs> My awareness is dropping. Oh yeah, that's that's separate intel. Cool. Three pieces of intel, and this is just the roof. So nothing on the roof over here. So yeah, I guess we're storming this building and uh, trying to shut it all down. Are we arriving within a restricted area? I hope not. Okay, so let's pop in over here. This seems like a fair deployment zone. And let's get uh, north side vision. The windows are here and here. That's really not that much coverage. Well, it's got this giant window over here. East side coverage. There's windows across the board, which I like. More windows is better. It gives us more vision. Um, if we open that door, nope. Ah, okay, and then south side. Again, not as many windows. Oh, would you look at that? There's a little tripwire over here. Hmm. What about on this side? I think west side is probably pointless. South side doesn't seem too useless, actually. But east is probably best. It lets us see into this hallway. It lets us see into this room over here. Central. And let's look into here. Whereas from here, we'd only be able to see into this hallway, this room, and this open area. Which we can probably peek into from the ground level anyway. So, uh, yeah, I guess east support. Let's get the uh, the tactical spotter. And do we have a smoke screen available as well? I guess so. I don't remember assigning that to anybody, but is that a bug or did I just not notice something? Hope it doesn't turn around to screw me. Let's put him on the north side. If evac is going to happen right back down over here, well, no, no, no. If we're going systematically, then we'll be moving up this way. And maybe maybe evac will happen like in this area instead. So west side is fine then. Fewer windows on this side as well. Oh man, I'm very nervous. Let's begin. Alright, time to lose everybody and everything. I need to remember it. Retreat is always an option. That is a bigger bust than usual, isn't it? But yeah, I can always fall back. That's always an option. The enemy is dark and deep. Prepare for a tough fight. Yeah, I will, I will. Alright, Theremin, you're right over here. There are no cameras or anything that are looking at us. I could turn the cameras off right now. I could go take a picture of that intel right now. What do I do first? What do I do first? Camera first, I think. I'm so nervous that someone's able to see us already. All right, let's go in. Okay, nothing to worry about here. Cameras upstairs have been turned off. There, I mean, we'll be able to move in for that intel next turn. Right, I'll just pop you over to here. So yeah, just eliminate all opposition. Seven of them. One's right here. Pop you right now with Referee. Give him some more XP. There's another one over here. Okay, he's not moving anywhere though. Just wondering who should go where. I guess Referee's got the lowest hit points. So Ref can, uh, can go in against this person. I think I want to tuck in over here. Let's just see if there's anybody watching this way. No. There's somebody up here who is able to look down. How far can you see? Not very far. Not very far. It just looks up to here. So that's fine by me. If we can tuck into here. Get the cover and take this person out. Let's go. Come on. Prove that you're actually a part of this cabal and that you haven't been a sneaky person all the way through. Uh... Okay, so I can't take down from there. Lesson learned, lesson learned. Good thing that that's, uh, I didn't put all my eggs in that one basket. Better be able to take down from over here. I don't want to be fully exposed. Stuntman. Let's go in. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. No one notices us. Nothing suspicious here. You, you, and another one over here. Man, there's, they're spread out. This camera should not be able to see this happen. Down we go. Boom. And I actually wonder if... Referee can't dispose of body. You cannot get there. Alright, alright, not the end of the world. Marlin. Yes, please. Alright. 
How many agents does it take to take down one enemy, uh, <laughs> enemy unit? God damn. All right. We're fine. There, I mean, you're fine in there. And Indigo. Where do we send you, Indigo? Where do you go, Indigo? Guess I could push her in to get eyes in here, perhaps. I mean, Theremin's fine out there. We're not in a restricted area out here, right? Otherwise, this would warn me. I wonder if Indigo will get recognized, though. It's the other thing I need to concern myself with. I could send Indigo around to get vision over here. Because she should be able to survive. If things go sideways, she's most likely to survive on her own. It's an interesting curved path. Oh, we'll take it. And again, that's something to consider as well. Individual survivability here. Alright. Enemy activity. Hopefully Theremin's alright inside. They're all backing up. We've got lots of civilians in here. Theremin. Let's pick up this intel first. No one's watching. There we go. Six pieces of intel. Okay, six pieces of intel and seven pieces of loot. Oh my. All right. Well, there's some more loot in here. And there's this... Uh, this controls uh, lasers, if I'm not mistaken. So I need to get in and get the other camera taken care of first. Where's the other camera set? Here. At least I think that's the case. We'll have to loop back in here afterwards then. So let's just stroll on out. Right, nothing to worry about. We're an actor. We were in disguise. We should be able to pull out without any issues. Oof. Spooky. I was just thinking about you. Well, good to know that there is somebody over there. Referee, you should be good to move okay. through. Stuntman should be good to move through as well. This is this is a restricted area. Right, so let's uh let's just push through over here, get into full cover. I want to push in towards these guys over here. And try to take care of them as quickly as possible as well. So far we've eliminated one out of seven. Feeling pretty good. Indigo. Keep you moving up. Right? These guys are not oppositions. I don't need to worry about them. I'm just gonna move up to here, get into cover over there. Hopefully nobody recognizes anybody over here. That would be that would be terrifying. And quite terrible. Let's go, Marlin. Go, 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 go. Right past that camera. And referee. I wonder if we should send ref down this way to back in to go up. You know, things go sideways. It takes two people to take someone down and dispose of their body right away. So I think I would like to do that. Move in pairs. Takedowns and, uh, and disposals happening super smoothly. Would like nothing more. And I want to try and keep this as sneaky as possible. Got to stay as quiet as possible. Theremin, you're going to go in through here. Try to get to that uh, camera. Or that camera terminal, I should say. Ooh, there is somebody over here. Interesting that the game lets me know. Okay, so let's push up to this door first. Right? Pop this door open. There we go. Where's Buddy going? He's staying still. He will be able to see me mess around with the camera. That game trying to bait me into interacting with the terminal. Alright, so. Let's close the door first. If the game will let me. Come on. C come on. This is probably the single most frustrating part of the game. I saw it pop up too. Come on. Come on. Oh, there it is. There it is. Alright, so let's close the door first. And let's step in behind this gentleman. Should close the door behind me. There we go. No one is looking in this way. We're clear. We're clear. No one down here. No one down here. This person's looking out that way. So good. No one in here, I think. Should be good for the takedown. As long as nobody pops out the door over here and looks right at us. Oh, the stress kills me sometimes. Who am I kidding? The stress kills me always. Let's go. Bam! I didn't do it. That wasn't me. What are you looking at me for? Alright. Let's move these guys out here first. Now, where's the other fella? He's over here, and he's going to go out that way. So, we're almost at time. Marlin, I think, is able to actually go in and take this guy down. But, unfortunately, that doesn't give us enough time to go in for the cleanup as well. 
What's up with referee? He he sounds messed up. He sounds messed up. Alright, so let's get Stuntman over here. Let's go. Go, 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 go. It's not a restricted area or anything, so we're fine. And Marlin, we're gonna get you right up behind this guy over here. Not gonna do anything. Because I want to wait until Stuntman is able to dispose of the body right away. I mean, we should be in the clear, but just in case, you know, just in case. Better safe than sorry. Referee sounds creepy as all hell. Indigo. I'm gonna move you up. I'm gonna look, uh, hopefully through this window over here and give us some vision in this area. See what's going on. That'll allow Theremin to plan his next moves as well. Uh, looks clear. And Ref, we're gonna move you up to over here. Alright, we're good. That's right, slow down. Don't be too suspicious now. Alright, this guy's strolling away. This guy's going that way. Civilian up there. My skills are at your disposal. My skills are at your disposal. Do you require? I require... Nobody sees this go down. Alright, you're able to take him out. And then Stuntman, you should be able to come around the side and dispose of the body. Okay. Marlin. Confirm the takedown. This guy's looking that way. This guy's looking that way. You're looking that way. You're not able to see this far somehow. I'll take it. Okay, confirm it. Bam! Down you go. Stuntman. I'm here if you need me. I do need you. I definitely need you. Dispose of that body, please. There we go. Nothing to worry about. I think we only have like a handful of turns left until uh until the missing guards raise the alarm, so to speak. Well, people start getting suspicious. Now, where is this guy going next? He's going to pull back over here next turn. So what I could do is I could get up to the door with Stuntman and Marlin, or to the car, I mean. So that next turn, I should be able to pull out and knock this guy out. So, you know, let's go. Stuntman over here. Don't sneak up on me like and that? Marlin... Oh, she can actually go right out. Don't want anybody to get recognized is the one thing I'm concerned about. So fine, you know what, Marlon? Let's just get you up to here. Right? What's the worst that could happen? We know we can make that gap, so we'll keep you over there. Theremin, you're up. Able to dispose of this body. Let's not forget this time. Please. I still am kicking myself a couple sessions ago for forgetting that body out in the open. And then that being the downfall of that mission. We're fine, we're fine. And I think it should be able to take this out of commission without any issues. Yes. Let's go. There we are. Nice and easy. Cameras are out. Boom. Now, ref. Hmm. Well, let's move Indigo first. Actually clear over here. I'm wondering if I should send Indigo in to pick up that loot. Let's send you in here first just to get some more vision. All right, and then Ref can come out over here. Mm, let's get him out over here. Not like the bushes are going to give him much cover, but it gives us vision. I want to be able to see into this room and see that it is, in fact, fully clear before Theremin goes in there next turn. Marlin, you're waiting. We're patient. We're waiting. We're hitting end turn. Everything's okay. This guy comes back here. Oh, he's looking in our direction. Certainly don't like that. Theremin, you first. So we can go in here, then loop back out this way, and then go into this room and shut down the security measures and get the loot. Is there any more loot to be had on this floor? I don't think so. We picked up the loot in here. We picked up the intel in there. This is all done. So I think, yeah, we push in here and take up this loot, which we're clear to do. There's nobody in this room. Unless there's somebody waiting right there. So you know what? <laughs> Just to be safe, I might want to take it a step slower and uh, go up to here first just walk up all right cool just wanted to make sure this blind spot didn't actually have somebody in there and now we can pick up the loot medium armor oh intel hiding in the little uh little uh vault the word is escaping me right now Stuntman's able to go up over here, take this guy out. Oh, he's going to move up there next turn. This guy's looking that way. These guys are... Oh, this guy would be able to see if we try to take this guy out right now. So we're not going to do that. 
Stuntman is able to take him out next turn. And Marlin will be able to... Oh, not dispose of the body. Okay, Marlin can take him out and Stuntman can dispose of the body. So Marlin, Stuntman stay put. Indigo, we're going to get you moving where? This area is clear. I'd rather pull them back, if nothing else. Like this space is all clear. There's no ladders or anything. Oh, oh, there is a ladder over here that we can take up. Question is, is this a restricted area? It's not marked. So I can't tell right off the bat. But is that a risk I'm willing to take? We gotta move quick. I don't see the red lights. The red, you know, exclamation marks. Um, at least it'll give us a peek upstairs. Let's go. nigo has got confidence. She's got courage. She's got style. She's got grace. She's a lady. I, trust this is I really wonder if I'm giving, like, my age away incorrectly by referencing some really old songs <laughs> that I only heard because my dad used to listen to them. Um... Uh, hopefully you guys follow through on those references, because otherwise it's a little strange. All right, I think we're good here. I've noticed something about myself. I ramble when I'm nervous as hell. <laughs> keeps the uh, keeps the edge off, I think. Okay. Theremin, you first, buddy. We're going to get you rolling through this way. We could do. We've already scouted this area. I thought there was some intel or something here. Um, nonetheless, I think I want to check this area out first. You are able to see down this way. Indigo will maybe be able to push in and take her down. Right? So, Theremin, let's pull you in this way and just see what's going on over here. Move one turn's worth first. Alright. Nothing. Nothing, no intel, no... Agents, nothing. You can see the civilian in here. There's another one somewhere in here as well. That's fine. I guess we can roll out this way. Yeah. Once we get here, there's the uh, the security measures and then the loot as well. So fine. Move over here. All's good. All's well. Me. A referee, you sound creepy as hell, man. You, you need to do something about that. Alright, this guy's looking that way. This guy's looking that way. This guy's looking this way. No one can see what's about to go down over here. So Stuntman can go in and take them out. And Marlin... Well, Marlin should probably go in and do the takedown. Right? No one's able to see. So yeah, confirm that. Go, Marlin. Go, 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 go. Nothing to worry about. Bam! There we are. Beautiful. And Stuntman... Dispose of that body. So far, so good. Three more to go. We know where one of them is. We know where one of them is. Jeez, I thought it was somebody else. Kind of wish Falcon was on this mission with, with her uh, silence pistol. Now it's awfully tempting to poke over here, open this. Well, actually, okay, no, there are no windows here. I was saying it's tempting to like. Poke in, open the door, see what's going on in here, and then poke back out. And you know, I might just do that. Taking so many risks. Okay, so this is trespassing. Ah, would you look at that? Would you look at that? Alright, so. I definitely want to take her out. Hopefully there's nobody waiting for me right over there. I assume, no. There is a camera up here, but we've turned it off. All right, so let's close this door, please. And let's go in for the takedown. This is nerve-wracking. Do we really need to take this risk? We don't, is the answer to that question. We don't need to. But we just did anyway. Referee, you're up. Literally, you're, uh, you're up over here. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Excellent. And hopefully everything doesn't go sideways right now. Oh, I 
hear them. I hear them. That's what scares the crap out of me, that I can hear them. Theremin, you're up first. Let's get you... Over here, turning off the security measures. Well, let's walk over first. Let's make sure there's nothing waiting for us, right? And there is nothing. And now we can turn these off. There we go. Energy... Yeah, the tripwires are off. Next stage, we take that loot. Man, there's a lot of loot. Missed me. There's a lot of loot. There's this intel over here. Don't necessarily want to pop in here. Now, with our support, we can't spot here, unfortunately. Ah, it's too bad. We can spot in this area, see what's going on over here, at least give us some idea. All right, so let's do that. Just in case. Well, we don't need to see this animation. Sorry. All right, so this area is clear, actually. And it looks like we don't have... Even though it let us deploy the uh, the smoke screen, we don't actually have it. Which is good. I I was surprised that we had that even show up. All right, we're good here. Where is the last enemy agent? Ah. You're number six. And number seven was somewhere over here on the second floor. Okay. Okay. Not a problem. Not a problem. Stuntman, let's go. Maybe Stuntman gets this one. And Marlin, you're going to follow up as well. Right behind him. These two make a good team. They make a good team. Hopefully they don't die together. Hey, Referee, you're creepy as all so hell, man. Right now. Indigo. We could push in and take a peek first. I'm a little worried about what's going on over here. Again, everything could blow up in our face. Oh, no, 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 we're not doing this again. We're not doing this again. We're not doing this again. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. Almost forgot. Almost forgot. It did cost me a little bit of movement, but it's not the end of the world. And what we can do is, uh, Ref, you can move in over here. I, I'm going to fire this guy if he keeps talking like that. Close that door. Open this door. Looks clear. Looks clear, but we're going to stay put for now. Alright. Nothing to worry about, just a couple taking a stroll down the streets. Who is that? We're good. We're good. Okay, first stop. Theremin, what can you do? You can pick up the loot in here. Let's go. Oh, wow. Okay, that's three out of seven pieces of loot collected. Three out of six classified docks collected. What am I missing? What am I missing? Just gonna do a quick pan around, guys. Sorry, hope you don't mind. Oh, my heart rate. Killing me right now. Oh, there's some more loot over here. All right. That might have like three pieces of loot in it, as far as I can tell. Now, if we knock everybody out, we should be able to roam around and pick up the loot afterwards. And we know where one person is. We don't know where the other is. We don't know if that person's, like, out roaming about now. Spot over here. Give me vision. Ah, uh, alright. That's fine. Just a civilian. So, Ref, are we about to take this risk? Good. Take that picture. Go, go, go. Nice. Nice, nice. I'd like to take him out of there. I'd like to take Indigo out of here as well. Oh, there's that piece of intel. Indigo could go pick that up soon. Let's go up to here, pop that door open, see if there's anybody out there. Oh, you know what? This is maybe a risky move because there might be civilians looking this way. Okay, we're good. Ooh. Oh, we're good. We're, we're very close. That was nerve-wracking. All right, let's close the door. Need to keep an eye on that city, though. Need to keep an eye on that city. All right, Marlin. You're able to go in right now. Stomp man. You're able to dispose of the body. Hopefully no one's able to see us. 
Well, fine. Let's move Stuntman here first, I think. Hopefully he doesn't get recognized. You know what? Marlin's been with us for longer. I trust her more. Again, just role-playing. Not mechanics here, but role-playing. Right, we haven't been recognized. You're looking that way. Right? You're looking this way. You're looking that way. Alright. No one's gonna be the wiser. Stuntman. Go in for the takedown. No one's gonna be able to tell. It's us. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right through that wall. Bam! I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost. What's up? There go. Get rid of this body. You're a ghost too, buddy. Disappear for me. There we go. Here we go. All right, Theremin, you're up. And where are we sending you? You've got the loot. You've got the uh, security measures. We need to get you upstairs. There's loot over here. Two locked doors. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, unless I can get out over here through the windows. All right, fair. That's an option. Now I can go up the stairs here as well. Right? Pull down this way. Go back the route we came. Or I can go out this way. Sure, let's, uh, let's take the stairs. We're in disguise. We should be fine. Literally the last last piece of opposition we have. Let's not trigger the alarm, though, because reinforcements will arrive, and then we will be in trouble. All right, support. Let me get some vision in this general area. Should give me enough information to work off of. Confirm that. Where's that civilian? Are you still over there? Well, that's not safe. If that person turns around and looks through this window and sees me, I'm potentially screwed. I don't like that. So, Theremin, you're up. You're up. Uh, we're gonna send you... Which way? Yeah, 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 we'll send you this way. Let's go. Feeling pretty good, feeling pretty good. Open this door as well. Yeah. Gotta go upstairs. I'm pretty sure that person's still up there guarding that area. Ref, let's pull you out just in case she decides to come back. Not through the window. I would not want that. Come on. Give me give me a realistic path. There's a setting to choose the, the short always choose the shortest path, which I guess I could turn off, but it is convenient. Let's move. Okay, we're not trespassing, and indigo. Um, tempting, isn't it? Tempting, but no. Let's uh, let's pull indigo back. Pull you back to here. Close this door just to make sure no one happens to see us. And then Marlin. Okay, let's check out where we're gonna evac from. This is one zone. This is the other zone. So this is where we're gonna evac from. So let's start moving towards it. Not going to call it just yet. We want to make sure we clean shop, obviously. Clean house, as it were. So let's move towards it, though. Just get everybody organized. Get everybody in position. Then we can call evac as soon as possible. And uh, we'll have all the intel and everything as well. Pull this mission off flawlessly. I feel like I didn't even need everybody. I could have just come in with Theremin. On which note, Theremin, you're up. Literally, you're up these stairs. Hopefully no one's going to notice you or recognize you. Let's take, let's go out to here first, just in case. Right, just want to scout this area out. Oh, can't actually see. Fair enough, let's go up to here. There you are. Unsuspecting. Completely unsuspecting. And then where is that last piece of intel? There, well, the last piece of intel is over here, which we can go after afterwards with Theremin. And then loot over here. I could have sworn there was, yeah, more loot over here. Right, but we have to go out the windows for that. All right, cool. So Theremin's going to be in charge of that. Ref, let's get you moving this way. And Indigo, let's get you moving this way. Marlin, over here. Stuntman, over here. And that is the turn. Good. Terrifying. Theremin, you're up. Going for the takedown. Cameras are off and everything, so we're good. Ooh. You're not able to see. 
Consider it done. Take down King. Bam! Reporting primary objective complete. Next up is evac. I'll be there. I'll be there in a minute. There's work to be done still. We gotta go through this way right here. But I do want to dispose of this body. Don't want some civilian to spot it. Can't take those useless risks. There I'm in. Dispose of the body. There we go. Nice and easy. Are we smoking indoors? Whoa, what am I talking about? This is Cold War era. This isn't 2018. <laughs> you can smoke indoors. It also looks like a private property. Alright, now we're just gonna stroll on up this way. Nothing to worry about. We're all good here. No, ref, I did not miss you. You are one creepy individual. In to go all the way to here. And hopefully I should hit that end turn button. There I'm in. This has to clean up. Pick up that last piece of intel. I think it's the last piece of intel. Yeah, you're looking out that way because you're a fool. Let's go. Come on. Quick snapshot. No one's going to notice the flash. Tactical plunder. Hmm, I don't know what that means. Alright, now we got to move there. I mean, it must be like, get X number of intel pieces. Alright, so hopefully some of this loot has the last piece of intel. Ooh, hello, civilian. Theremin. Ah. I don't want to knock a civilian out if I don't have to. You're making it very hard for me. I can go out the door, come back for this piece of uh, loot afterwards. Don't mind me, I'm just a construction worker, ma'am. Nothing suspicious here. Alright, let's see if there's a better place to evac from, actually. Well, nah, it's not all that far away. There I'm in. I'm gonna move in first. Oh, no option but to go through the window this time. And we are clear for the loot. Oh, more armor. MU-255. Alright. That end turn, and hopefully we can get that loot next turn, and hopefully that has the last piece of intel as well. Don't sneak up on me like that. I'm not sneaking up on anyone, Indigo. Come on now. There we go. Just out through the same window, please, at least. Yeah, okay, cool. Minimize the goofiness. Alright, you're looking that way. You're going to stay looking that way so we can go pick that up. And hopefully that's everything. Hopefully that has the last piece of everything in it. Come on. Who is that? Herman's up. You're in the clear. Let's go. Through the door, please. Thank you. Nice. And that is everything. 100%. We are... Good to go. Now, Theremin should not take six turns to get all the way there. Right? So I should probably call it evac right now. Confirm that. Coming. Better not take six turns. Let's get everyone organized. And Marlin, let's get you over here. There we go. Alright, feels good. I think we're I think we're safe. I think we're home free right now. Uh, the chances of me being spotted are zero. I'm not about to do anything else suspicious. I'm not about to take anybody else down. I haven't left any bodies around. I think we're in the clear. And if you guys enjoy watching this kind of finesse, this kind of Soviet now. sophistication, don't hesitate to let me know. Drop a like, drop a comment. It does really help, though. In all seriousness, it really helps me figure out exactly what you guys are interested in watching more or less of. And it's how I spend my time for the channel and, you know, figure out what kind of content I should and should not do. So, if you do enjoy uh, this tactical espionage action, please let me know. Let me know. Hit that like button. Leave a comment behind. Give me more name suggestions. I've got some great code names and names and surnames provided already always welcoming more. As soon as people start generating more heat and start getting burned, I'm going to be using those uh, suggestions. And uh, yeah, it's always good fun. I think it gets me a lot more attached. And I think I'm going to be using uh, patron names as well from Patreon. Uh, we've got a lot of patrons uh, who have already given me approval to use their names for credits. I imagine it'll be fine to use them as agents as well. Really get us all super attached. Um, but yeah, and if you want to get your name in that pool, of course, let me know on Patreon. The link to that is always in the description down below. The link to my Discord is down there as well. 
where we have a lot of discord about all kinds of games. I think we're good. We're all clear. We've got all pieces of intel collected, all loot collected. Everyone's over here. Let's get the hell out. Silky smooth. Oh, that feels so good. I was extremely nervous about this mission, but that worked out really nicely. Really, I could have gone in with just Theremin. It would have taken a lot longer, which would be a pain. But mission complete. That's right, mission successful. All the equipment, all the classified documents. Nobody that... Maybe we should have, like... I don't think anybody was an agent that we could have brought back to our, uh, to our hideout, right? All right, above top secret, Patriot proved to be none other than Yuri Andropov himself, the first secretary of the party. He ordered me to create an above top secret espionage unit to track down and dismantle the conspiracy. He claims the traitors infiltrated the highest echelons of the state and only a surrep surreptitious action can weed them out. Our first step will be sinking the K-429. Well. Ooh. Ooh. We've got medium armor. We've got light armor. We've got an MU-255. We've got another gal and we've got an M-10. Couple new agent candidates available as well. We've got Magnate. He looks like an absolute champ. And we've got Marksman over here who will, I mean, if we ever get sniper rifles, he'll be our Marksman, I guess. Agent report Stuntman's Guerrilla Ops talent revealed and nine new pieces of intel as well. Did I just call him Stuntman again? Aw, oh, referee's been compromised. Ref, you fool. All right, let's just take a quick look at Stuntman here. Guerrilla Ops Talent. Guerrilla Operations Training costs less time and money. Oh, okay, cool. That's helpful. That's helpful. And uh, what else have we got? We have a lot of intel that we can go into right now. Investigation Board, 11 out of 12 pieces of intel on diversion methods. These files intercepted from Beholder Communications and Internal Memos document how Beholder Initiative uses popular conspiracy theories and unexplained events to create a whole layer of decoys that muddle the image of the true extent of the Initiative's influence on world events. Well, we've got most of the intel. Maybe we can actually unlock something over here. So let's get all our intel out. Aruba Bay and Duke of Orange. Duke of Orange. <laughs> Big Daddy, hey! You're talking about me again. Let's get all this stuff out. David Z over here, or she, I guess. Not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, Vladivostok over here. Downpour Undertaker, don't see these yet. Oh, Downpour's right here. Alright, so many connections already. Golf Course, Power Brokers, High Society, Wiz Kid. Uh, no, alright, so let's start reading through this intel here. Material recovered by M. Henderson in... Redacted. We confirm that brown-eyed gal really worked for Brinkman. Brown-eyed gal and Brinkman. All right. Uh, Brinkman. M. Henderson. Oh, draw that connection, please. Brown-eyed gal. Brown-eyed gal. Did I see that anywhere? No, but I do see... Oh, that's it. All right, so this piece of intel here. Disappearance of Duke of Orange by Redacted. So, at... 1,000 hours? That sounds weird. 1,000 hours? 1,000 hours, I guess. Failed to turn up in Redacted facility at the scheduled hour. Missing the appointed meeting with representatives from Redacted to discuss the recent situation in Aruba Bay. 1025. Made several calls and sent Redacted to check on Duke of Orange's usual hanging spots around Redacted. 1207. Called from a payphone and reported an assault by unknown parties. Uh, checking the registration plates that... Redacted managed to note down, revealed that the car had been rented by Undertaker, a known collaborator of Redacted. Several items belonging to Duke of Orange's personal effects had been found. 1548, we managed to establish that Duke of Orange had met the previous evening with Big Daddy. Presently, Duke of Orange is presumed captured by enemy forces. All right. All right. Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Aruba Bay is right here, but we like to leave those for last. Duke of Orange is also here. Undertaker. I could have sworn I saw Undertaker somewhere. Well, let's move some things over. Just keep myself organized a little bit. Undertaker. There we go. All right, let's check this piece of intel. Wolfgang, several men from Oxcart stopped by while you were away. Lots of redacted information. If it's not too much trouble, please stop causing power outages all over golf course, or I'll kill you and stuff the body in the smallest trash can I can find. Fondest regards, redacted. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, let's see, ox cart, golf course, golf course, and Wolfgang. I don't think I saw that anywhere just yet. High society, missed that connection earlier. All right. Um, so let's reorganize this a little bit. There we go. There we go. 
All right, some good connections. We're going to put this over here. This over here. There we go. Because, again, this is going to connect to this and this piece of intel over here. So, memorandum. Redacted is a bit too curious about the recent demise of our beloved leader and supervisor. If anyone from Chuck Wagon is swayed by Redacted, sensational guesswork, they might add two and two and mess up our gig in Hornet's nest. All right. I don't think Chuck Wagon is something we've seen before. Oh, there it is. Chuck Wagon, brown-eyed gal. Headhunters and Wisecracker. I thought I saw Wisecracker. No, that's Wizkid. Oh, hold on. How did I miss Wizkid? There we go. Uh, Duke of Orange and Aruba Bay. Are we about to connect you, Headhunters? Or oh, wait. Headhunters, Headhunters, Headhunters. No. Hornet's Nest. Wolfgang, Oxcart, Deep Ocean. All right, fine. Let's make this connection. Aruba Bay and Duke of Orange. Oh. Investigation board completed. Diversion methods has or have been analyzed. So manufacturing blueprint for decoy. Oh, I want to check that out. Theremin's crafting talent revealed and enemy revealed. Pony. Cool. And I didn't even use this last piece of intel. Didn't even didn't even use it. And and more in okay, no, that's just bugging out. Uh let's see if it does give us anything. Provocateurs there. And headhunters. Headhunters. There. Alright, so that, that doesn't have anything to do with anything, I guess. I mean, it said we were, we'd completed it. I love the misdirection that comes up every once in a while. All right, cool. So a couple of things to check out then. Uh, over at Crew Quarters, we have discovered... Who was it? Faster Crafting by Theremin. Cool. And we also discovered uh, Decoy. Temporarily draws enemies towards the place where the decoy is thrown. That sounds like it could be useful. I wonder if I want to pursue that. And we have a fair bit of money. I wonder if I want to... Hold on a second. Before we forget, ref, come on, buddy, get to work, right? Let's not waste time here, you creepy, weird individual. He creeps me out. <laughs> his voice is just like makes me think of. Uh, I think his name's Ken Kenneth in like on like the old Eminem CDs. Anyway, so improved forging tools, workshop expansion, analytics expansion, crew quarters expansion, better negotiations methodology reduces the time it takes an informer to reveal secret documents. I might want to invest in that. To be perfectly frank, might want to invest in that. And what do we have going on on the world map right now? We've got uh, suspicious activity and a conspiracy plot in Baku, which we definitely need to dive in on. Twenty three hours we have. We can send in our agents from Vladivostok. We should be able to get there. And we're about to start tactical recon at the docks of uh, Petropavlovsk. Then we can interrupt, or rather we can blow K-429 up. What is a K in, like, Soviet? Because, like, in, in NATO lingo, it's, it's Kilo. Right? So is it, like, Kremlin? Kremlin 429? I don't know. Let's go with that for now. Let's also go with the fact that we have gone over our hour mark, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you had a good time this session, but this is where we're going to call it. As always, as I mentioned before, if you did enjoy it, drop a like, drop a comment. Do let me know. A big thanks to all of my patrons for supporting this channel on a month-to-month -month basis, keeping it alive and running smoothly. I appreciate you greatly. And of course, all you guys that are watching as well, I appreciate you greatly as well. Until next time, das vidanya.